Shalom, well. giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. This is your brother, Atazwan Ba'ya, I'm going to bring a short lesson uh, this evening, and this lesson is going to be on this article that I found about this young woman here, uh, her name is Chris Tia Donaldson founder of TGIN, which is a, I think it's a beauty, um, a beauty company. She started her own beauty company, okay? Um, and apparently, according to the article, it's doing very well. Um, but she uh, passed away here a day or so ago, okay? So we'll read this article, get into a few scriptures, Okay, um, it starts out here and it says, uh, Chris Tia Donaldson, um, so I can, the lawyer turned beauty executive who found a hair care brand TGIN died November 13th at the age of 42. Donaldson's death was revealed via the brand's Instagram account in a video posted the next day, the cause of death was not disclosed. Okay. It goes on here and it says, uh, it is with great sadness that we announce the peaceful passing of our founder and CEO, Chris T. Donaldson on the evening of Saturday, November 13th, said Aris Singleton, Donaldson's niece and employee in the post, quote, through her passion for beauty and purpose, she redefined beauty and created a community for women empowerment, teaching us the importance of advocating for ourselves. She continued, as reported by WWD, Donaldson came to found the brand when transitioning away from live based hair relaxers during her time at a Chicago based law firm and tapped into her personal savings to get started. TGIN launched in 2013 and counted Walmart, Target, Whole Foods and Walgreens among its retail partners. So evidently the young lady was, had a brilliant mind, right? She was a lawyer and um, started her own hair care business, right? And uh, apparently it was doing very well. Okay, but we also have to remember that when we hear about people who pass away, you know, that um, we have to remember that the Most High is in control of all things, okay? And usually we, you know, we may do a lesson on someone's passing and um, have to go into certain scriptures for those who may not know that these scriptures exist or are or even in the scriptures. Okay. Um, now it caught my eye because so like I'm not sure what brand of stuff my wife and my daughters use, but they're natural hair. Okay, they don't they don't. Uh, Put any kind of chemicals or lies in their hair as most of our Israelite women do. Okay, so let's get a couple of scriptures. Okay, we keep everything in its proper perspective and understand here's Job 4 and 7. And this, you know, these same scriptures we read, you know, uh, time to time. Okay, so this is Job 4 and 7. And it says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish be innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of the Most High they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Okay? And we have to remember that, Salakian, none of us are innocent. Okay? When it comes with dealing with the Lord. All right, we have, uh, we've sinned against the Most High. So 
judgment will ultimately play out the way he wants it to. Okay. So let's go on and finish this article. Um, it says Donaldson received her uh, AB in economics from Harvard University and her Juris Doctorate degree from Harvard Law School. She even penned a book called Thank God I'm Natural, The Ultimate Guide to Caring for, for and Maintaining Natural Hair. Donaldson was a breast cancer survivor and started the TGI in foundation to help un uninsured women receive treatment for breast cancer. So although it's not saying that's what she passed from, you know, she had a battle with it. Okay. Um, and we also know, you know, the most high is behind all things. So let's look at it. All right. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And like I said, this is really just for edification's sake for, for, someone new, you know, um, who may not understand that the Lord is behind all things. Okay. Um, so this is Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. That's the most high. You see? And we're in the most high's hands. None of us are innocent from going against him. And so therefore he'll carry out judgment in the way in which it pleases him. Okay? We'll get a couple more and we'll wrap it up. And it's important to, to keep that in mind, you know, to, to keep you humble, okay? We're not in control of this thing. And this is why it's so important for us to repent while we have the time, while we have the chance. And this young lady um, was based up there, I believe, in Chicago, as I said. Um, she was a practicing lawyer up there in a Chicago law firm. Okay. So is there a chance that she ran up against the men or seen the men, uh, GMS Chicago men up there on any of those particular corners? We don't know, right? But the most high knows, okay? This is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. You see that? So the Lord is behind all things. And we have to understand that, you know, he doesn't care whether you're a young woman or old woman or young man or old man, okay? He has things set in his way and that's the way that they're going to be carried out, okay? And so here we see it here in Romans 2. It says what? The impartiality of the Most High, okay? The Lord is known for killing babies and children, young men, old women, young women. Okay, and we'll read this and it'll tell you at the very end of the, the verse that I'm going to stop at. Okay, so let's read this. This is Romans 2, uh, Romans 2 and 1. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges does doeth th the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of the Most High is according to what? Truth against them which commit such things. So, you know, all things are done in a just manner with the Most High, no matter who you are and what you've done. Okay, he, he in other words, he's not going to make a mistake in his judgment. Okay, verse 3. And thinking this... 
And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of the Most High? Right. None of us are going to escape that. Okay. In terms of, you know, uh, the Most High having something against us. Now, that's why it's important to repent now while you have the time, while you have the chance, okay, to repent and ask for mercy and ask Yahweh Shem Yahushai to forgive you for all your transgression, all your sin, all your iniquity in this life and any past life where you've offended the Most High and have gone against his word. Okay, verse four. Or uh, despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth thee to repentance? See, this is your time to do it. All right, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse five. But after thy hardness and uh, impotent heart treasures up upon thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient countenance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile, which are those Israelite foreigners, but glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Verse 11. For there is no respecter of persons with the Most High. You see? All right. And I think there's, we can go to another scripture here um, in Colossians. Um, and we can look at. You can read this whole chapter, but here's the point. So not to have the lesson or video go on uh, much longer. Okay. Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there was there is no respecter of persons with the most high. You see that? So with the most high, there's no respecter of person. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're a man or you're a woman or a child, a boy, a girl whether you old, whether you young, okay? But I thought this, uh, you know, it kind of caught my eye um, because like I said, you know, there may be some sisters out there who are, who are um, natural, you know, as far as their hair care is concerned and they know about this young woman, um, or, you know, uh, and maybe use her products, okay? But this young woman is, uh, Going on to the other side. She's in the spiritual realm now. Okay. But I just wanted to bring that out. You know, like I said, Lord willing, you know, through the scriptures, you find comfort in it and you understand that the Lord, okay, is not a respecter of person and that he wounds, he heals, he kills, he makes alive. Okay. In a nutshell. So it's very important for you at this time that you need to repent and pray for mercy and grace from your Hashem Yahweh Shai. And with that, I'll end the lesson right there. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And I'll see you on the next lesson real soon. Shalom.